With Children of the Bottom, we, we toured a lot in Latin America. We played Mexico, El Salvador, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, Uruguay, at least those countries. And uh, yeah, many, many, many times. It's physically quite, uh, quite demanding because of the distances you will have to fly to each place, which is always quite hard comparing to a bus, bus tour that we can do in Europe or in the States. So, but then again, it's very exotic for us and it was every time we went, we went, for example, to Brazil, we went many, many times, but still always when you go there, it's super exciting and exotic and, and, and the crowd is just so intense, it's, it's, it's impossible to describe. Well, there's so many, there's so many good stories. Um, it was one of the first tours we ever did. In uh, we, we we flew from Mexico to Colombia, and the flight was delayed. And we was we were supposed to let's say we were supposed to play at eight o'clock in the evening in in Bogota, and and the and the flight landed around like six or something in Bogota, and then we knew that we okay we have to play in two hours and. And then the promoter got us from the airport, and he was like, you know, yeah, yeah, it's 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 okay, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it. And then we stopped to eat somewhere, and then we finally arrived to the venue, and it was already like, you know, way, way past the the stage time. And then then they just made it happen. And then we it was in the mall, and we had to we had to get to the backstage through the mall, which was kind of like empty because it was I think it was closed or something. And then we were supposed to kind of like go through the mall secretly so that the, the, the people who are waiting for the show wouldn't see us. Yeah. But then at some point they noticed us and then there was this big, big, uh, big corridor and then our promoters said, yeah, okay guys, now run. And then we just ran, <laughs> ran through the mall, you know, the, the group of fans were like, you know, running, <laughs> running behind us. And it was, uh, it, was, it was exciting at least. I, I, I wouldn't say it was scary, but it was it a was pretty, pretty weird moment. <laughs> Sepultura is an obvious, obvious band. It was a very big influence for me, and I'm sure a lot of for, for all, a lot of European metal metalheads. I think Nervosa is or was very, very interesting group also, and, um, and then of course you know Kiko, Kiko Laurero as a, as a guitar player. He's being at the moment very very successful and, and super nice guy. Those those things are the first things that come to my mind. Moonshot doesn't have any plans plans yet, but of course we are uh, hoping and <laughs> dreaming of playing one day in in, in somewhere in Latin, Latin America, and, and hopefully it will happen within within few years. Finland has pretty good uh, system of of funding funding bands. Going, going international, and uh, of course everybody knows that going from Finland to Latin America, it's it's quite expensive, just the traveling. So, so I think Finland has a has a pretty good system for funding. So it's it, it makes it more easy. But what could you do more? I don't know. Maybe maybe some sort of um, band exchange or some some sort of um, festival exchange or something like this. I, I don't know. It's a very complex matter, but. Um, Funding definitely helps, especially for, for bands that are like up and coming and growing bands, that, because just the traveling expenses are a lot.